In a gunfight, the first person to put shots on target almost always wins. Hi everyone, it's John with today's active self-protection lesson out of California. Here we have an armed robbery that goes very badly for the armed robbers. Gonna learn some important lessons here about being the first one to put shots on target, about being prepared with your tools, and about moving and shooting accurately. The action's gonna come pretty fast for us. You can see the clerk behind the counter here. What you need to know is he actually has a gun behind that counter just in case there's an armed robbery. And now what we're about to see as the action begins is a couple of guys are gonna walk in the store all kinds of sketchy with their hoods up and all that stuff, hands in pockets, which gives him the heebie-jeebies. And just as that guy pulls his gun, the clerk pulls his, and the gunfight is on. And the clerk looks like he definitely got the better of that one. Now he comes and pushes the panic button, and that's how fast this one's over. Let's go back and learn some lessons out of this one. There are eight lessons on our website. Click the link in the description. You got more information and all that stuff there. But the first one that I wanna talk about is preparedness. This guy has a firearm under the counter. Now, I don't recommend that you keep a firearm under the counter. I recommend you keep it on your person. But if you do keep it under the counter, you need to have a plan for it. This guy at least had a plan for it. Secondly, he's starting to see what's going on. You can see him look at the first guy and the second guy. You can see him look to both of them to see where his threats were. Having that in mind and knowing what you're gonna do for multiple attackers, very, very important. Now, there's a couple of interesting details here as you see in slow motion that the bad guy's going for his gun and so our good guy's going for his and he only gets one hand on the gun. I do recommend that you learn how to shoot that gun with two hands because it's faster and more accurate to do so. But thankfully, at least that first shot gets this guy thinking about what's going on so he's able to put a shot in the second guy. But I do want to notice because he only put one shot in the first guy that that first guy's able to get his gun back up and get a shot off. When we talk about the boarding house rules that everybody gets first before anybody gets seconds, what we mean by that is we mean that we get a first serving to the first guy and it only applies to equal threats. I don't know that they were here, but he did get enough on him that the guy wasn't able to get an accurate shot because of the fibs factor, fudge, I've been shot. But now we see our good guy running off and you can see him pointing the gun behind him and uh, just kind of firing blindly. Don't recommend you do that. Take your shots, then move. Shoot, then move, move, then shoot. So you don't do stuff like this. At the end of the day though, this clerk did a really fantastic job. He had his plan in place, had his tools ready to go, got there first, practiced good marksmanship against multiple attackers, and he covered his ass 